The memory loss, it isn't permanent, though, is it? Well, we hope not, but we'll know more when we get the scans back. Can I see him? He's a bit disoriented at the moment, but if you make a brief, he's in with his dad at the moment. And Hayden's OK with that? Yeah, why wouldn't he be? Oh, no reason. It's just... Does Larry know about the memory loss? I would have told you if I didn't tell his dad. Yeah, right. Is there something going on that I should know about? No, no, no. It's just, um... What are you doing here? I came here to see Aiden. He's fine. He just needs his rest. Well, I'll only be a minute. Well, thanks all the same, but he doesn't need to see you again. Look, I I'm not here to cause trouble, OK? I just... Then leave. If it wasn't for you, Aiden wouldn't be here in the first place. Hey, we both know that's not entirely true. Doctor, I would really prefer it if Aiden didn't have any visitors. I don't want him disturbed. He's confused enough as it is. You might as well go home, mate. You're not needed here. See, I don't reckon Aiden remembers the argument. Otherwise, why would he let his father in the room? Maybe his father thought it was a good idea to put those family skeletons back in the closet. Well, that's exactly what I'm afraid of. Well, he can't ban you from visiting him, not without Aiden's consent. I mean, the boy is old enough to decide for himself. Yeah, well, now he found that photo of me in the army, I think he's going to take his father on that front. Well, if he's forgotten the argument with his father, there's every chance he's forgotten the photograph too. Maybe. It's just so frustrating. He was finally getting somewhere, you know, dealing with whatever his grandfather had done to him and... Well, just because his mind doesn't happen to be in the same place at the moment doesn't mean he can't find its way back. So, um, mm. just give him some time, OK? You want a job? Here. Sure. If you're going to run this place as a restaurant at night, you're going to need a maitre d'. I've got the experience, enthusiasm. I look amazing in black. Huh, don't we all, Dal? This, um, <clears throat> this experience you talk about, we're speaking restaurants here? Yeah, we'll have a look for yourself. Before I met Kevin, I had to support Drew somehow. I was actually pretty good at it. So, if I were to ring a couple of these places, there'd be a restaurant on the other side? Irene, look, I know we've had our ups and downs. Well, that is an understatement, Dal. But I really like this town. I want to stay here for as long as I can. And you know what small towns are like. They're not exactly overflowing with job opportunities. I'd really appreciate it. Look, I'm really sorry, Jess, but we've got all the staff that we need. We, we brought everyone across from the old place. What about the restaurant at night? Well, to be honest, it's a bit of an experiment at the moment. I mean, we're just taking it slowly and for all I know, it could all go belly up. Yeah, of course. Look, I, I tell you what, leave it with me and uh, if any vacancies come up, I'll be sure to let you know. Thanks, Irene. Good luck with it too. Sam. Jazz, please don't hang up. I'm begging you. You're the only one that can help me. Jack? Rachel? Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. What do you want me to do now? After this, you're on your own. I mean it. Look, just bring me the money and you'll never hear from me again. I just need that money so I can start somewhere new with Rory. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So where will I meet you? Look, I'm not sure yet. I'll call you back soon. There's just something I need to do first. Sam? Last of it, I think. Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe it. It's all coming together. I wouldn't speak too soon, Dal. Somebody's got to put those computers together. One of the kids will give me a hand with that. 
Speaking of which, you haven't decided what you're going to do yet. Are you going to get a counsellor for the den or anything on that front? Uh, no, not yet, but there's plenty of time for that. Oh, love, I don't know about that. Not if you're planning on opening tomorrow, there's not. Don't worry, it'll all work out. Dan would be so happy. We're really going to make a difference. Yeah, he'd be proud, all right. Yeah. Anyway, I should bring back that internet guy. Has Leah even talked to you about what she's going to charge kids for the internet? Love, has she talked about what she's charging for anything in there? Has she discussed pricing structures? No. Yeah, I mean, should we be worried? I know she wants this place to be a great tribute to Dan, but it's not going to be any good if it goes under. Yeah, I know. And if the den does go down the gurgler, it's not going to do us any favours. I guess just leave it for a couple of days. And, and if things are still looking a bit grim, well, I'll, I suppose I'll talk to her then. Hello? Scans. Good news. The CT scan was clear. There's no uh, trauma or cerebral bleeding. Oh, great. And what does that mean for his memory? Unfortunately, it's impossible for us to tell how long the memory loss will last. How about you? How are you doing? Me? I'm... I'm fine. Things seemed a little tense with uh, Roman before. What? Aiden barely knows the guy. He has no right to be interfering in family business. We just don't want him here. Fair enough. But Aiden is almost an adult. Legally, he's old enough to decide who can and can't visit.